Okay, today we are going to do some more work on Happy Farmer. And in this piece, we have the rhythm where you go long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. So that's the new technique that we're trying to implement and get comfortable in our bow arm. So um, as I had done in my previous video, I showed you how you can play that rhythm with twinkle. And um, that is a wonderful way to practice. Another thing you can do is do the G major scale with this new um, bowing. So let's let's do that for, for today. So you're going to start with open G, and I'm going to walk you through it. So remember the rhythm is long, short, long, short, down, down, up, up. And we're going to do that rhythm over and over again. So here we go on open G. You're going to go down, wait, and go down again, up, down, two, long, short, That's a great thing to practice. Another thing I want you to do with that same rhythm is now we're going to do a little bow crossing work. So you're going to start on the D, you're going to do the long note here, stop the bow and continue down on the A string. Then go up and then switch strings to the D string. Watch. Switch down. Switch up. get your bow coordinated with when you change your strings. Okay, another thing I want to do is I want to, to sing the song for you. It's got words that my parents made up long ago. And I want to have you experiment with putting your bow in the crook of your arm. I know sometimes when we go straight up and down, um, it's kind of hard to feel where the string crossings would be. When you do it on the crook of your arm, you can pretend as though you're actually playing your violin. I put the stick side down so that I don't totally get my sweater all the way covered with rosin, so you can do the same. So follow along with me. See if you can make your bow go up when mine goes up and down when mine goes down. Remember, we're going to be hooking our bows. So the song goes like this. The happy farmer and his pretty wife. They live together in a house with two blind mice. Oh my, the happy farmer and his pretty wife. They live together in a house with two blind mice. The happy farmer one day bought a cat. The happy farmer and his pretty wife, they live together in a house with no blind mice. The happy farmer one day bought a cat. The happy farmer and his pretty wife, they live together in a house with no blind mice. And that's how that song goes. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to just show you a couple practice spots that will make it a little easier 
once you get the song going. So when you're doing a practice spot, uh, remember to do it at least five times a day when you're practicing it. That way your fingers can start to memorize what they have to do and the bow remem remembers what it has to do as well. So the first one, one I want you to work on is two E, two E, three. It goes like this. Let's do it again. It's two on the A, two on the E. E, again. One more. Okay, the next one is, start with an up bow. Go one, two, A, D. Okay, do that again. Two more. Then from there, you're gonna go back to the A string and cut your low two. Again. Again. Two, one, three, D. One more. Okay, let's put those together. Again. I'm going to do it one more time and this time I'm going to add the last note of that little section. Okay, once you get to that you're at what we call the first ending. That's the two blind mice. As you remember in the song you do the second, I'm sorry, the first ending twice. So you're going to go two blind mice. Listen to that whole thing. Two blind mice. You're going to get to that again in a little bit. Um, okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is I think I should show you just the very beginning so you can get off to a really good start. So at the beginning, you're going to start with an up bow, kind of like Oh Come Little Children, and you're going to hook your bow. So you're going to go up, down, three. Now move your bow down to the A string level and put a first finger down. Now you're going to put a three down, going up. Lift your bow up to the D string level and go up bow three. That's a great one to practice. Let's do it again. Down. Now you're going to move your bow to the one on the A. Watch me again. Up, down. Down. Up. Two more. Down. Up. Last one. I won't say a thing. See if you can play with me. I think we're ready to just do the whole piece in a nice slow tempo. Make sure your bowings are in exactly the right places, going the right way, right with me. So here we go, the happy farmer. One, two, three, play. and 
ending. And there you have it. So you can tell there's a lot of repetition and parts that repeat themselves. Just to, just to be clear, the second ending are these notes. A, then two on the D, then add your third finger. All right. Good luck. That's such a fun piece. Bye-bye.